Hello everyone, Moby Ganahu here, and welcome to episode 7 of Let's Play Blinks 2 Masters of Time and Space. In that first episode, we started World 2 at the, on, on the Time Sweeper side. We collected some cat medals. We And now we are gonna reach the highest point of the pyramid. Because I couldn't. Because every time I played through this world, I can never find the four carol fish. In my life. And look, look, look there, I bet that's the highest point in the period now, isn't it? So now, where do we go? Where do we go? Now, from here. Well, it well, looks like there's something. There's, there's a time monster there. Can I jump over there? Yes, just barely. I'll just. Shoot him in the face with a bow, bow -o. and again, and more time controls, which means more money. This is we want to fix the switch because we did that in the very first tutorial of the game, so it makes sense. Let's see what this button does. Ah, it rearranges those platforms so we can reach that. I'm sorry those spikes are not coming up anymore. Oh look, here are the two Kalefish. You think those these are where the last two tankies were, but no that one Kalefish doesn't have it. I don't get it, where's the last Kalefish? Where's the one I'm missing? I haven't played for a dump for this and I can never find the last Kalefish in my life. Where's the fourth tanky? And sorry, apparently my place has got more bikes. I don't doubt it. Here, there, but let's press the pyramid and we're going down. Why are we going to that? Going down? Looks like we're going to a deep pit. Okay, there's a cat mount in front of us. Where are we now? Oh, we're back at the start. And apparently the gate is now open. Well, that's more like a portal than a gate, but. Final, we our body. Let's suck out all these coins because, you know. And then now lean down to the end and Joanny Moe, yeah, you get a point. Mission two done. And now we're heading to the to the second boss. Yeah, yeah, blah blah. We'll give you our money. And welcome to the second boss of the game. Send this weird temple temple like gladiator place. And um, what are you finding? Uh, it's the Willow Tree from Harry Potter. Nah, not really. <laughs> it's called a giant mandrake. I have no idea what a mandrake is. It's probably some sort of sea tree. Wait, is that impossible? Or it sounds like it comes from the sea. Oh, oh well, all you gotta do is lock onto those piranha plant mouths and shoot them so he'll drop all these rewind time crystals. Play it again. And he sh so should we rewind to. Uh, no, he didn't. Oh, I'll explain it in a bit. One second. Do we know a rewind? What about. No. See, it shrinks him down and it. And it Let's not too many of these walking seas with legs. And I hate how, how they're much faster than you. And of course, in more nodes, it, and of course, each, with each time you kill a certain amount of walkie, those walking people, I don't know what the hell they are. Um, it refers back to his normal form, so he pretty much gotta repeat this process until he dies. I'm in normal node, yeah, that can take a while. It takes longer than, well, it doesn't easy than normal, so. Yeah. Rewind again. And I hope the bombs will come in handy, because that would be awesome. There we go. I'll shoot. And the bomb only got one of them. That was kind of pathetic, to be honest. Oh, love God, all over the place. Well, at least it's part of his health, and I can't 
can kill the world turning back to a fixed point location. Oh well. Avoid shockwave and repeat process again. Yeah. So. Mm. At the time this recording. When, once I re when I restarted this LP, I found another person who commented on one of my videos who was doing doing a, the same LP as LP in the same game as I am. He's called Key. I, think, I believe he's called Key Blab Blocks. Search enough, he's he's a very interesting person to listen to. He gets great information on this game, and I got hit. Wow. And he's actually been quite a good LP this game. I heard he's gonna mention the my LP and his LP too. So I might as well do the same, so Yeah. Check it out. I know he does the except you don't have to watch him because he's doing the same game as me, but Hey he does other LPs too, so we should check it out. He's a good guy and all that. So and I'll put his channel in the dis description, so... Yeah. I honestly thought this... I honestly thought the slow time kill would help, but I think I hit it too late or something. And... Shockwave avoid! And apparently he does two now! That's a thing he does in normal mode. Avoid the trash, then something up. And... Aim at the... Guana plants. Others and top we want type of I have no clue where they came from. Out of inside his brain, Phoenix felt the same, but that no, it doesn't. Yes, it does. I don't know. Shockwave, and let's try to kill the last of those evil things. There's at least six or seven of them, at least, so let's hook kill all of them. Soon, there's that guy, and there's, oh, there's only two here now. Let's see if I can get. Nope. Too late. I'm gonna, I just gotta hit one of those turrets with this crash. Crash. Sweeper. And he'll be done. Just gotta stay alive. So I only got one huge of health left. But I'm doing this post commentary, so I know I'm gonna do this. If I don't, I'll be probably fast forwarding this. Oh, well, better cut it. Well, no, I suck up some Rewind Crystals. Boy, Shockwave. He shrinks to little tiny seed things. I know who they are. Killed, just kill the last one and. And risk. Ugh. Oh, that's. Oh, I was hoping for more screech instead of a. But oh well, that's a funny cutscene to show. Mission 3 clear! We got our we now got our second big crystal fragment. I honestly have no idea why each and every single big crystal fragment has got a hole in the center, but okay. And oh look, some and here's gonna be a bunch of text which you can easily miss by pressing the A button. But hey, if you don't you you get to see the retrievers again. And again, a big crystal fact. I mean, you know, pretty much the same thing from the first one. Oh, hi, Cornon. Where, where have you been? Yeah. I think the one thing I don't like about this game is that Blinks and all these other random types will just pop up from then and there. We have no idea who they are except for Blinks. And we said that we can't just play as Blinks and all those time players instead of making our own time sweeper. Hopefully, I get seasons or and Blinks free, but it's been nine years since this game was. Well, it's been nearly nine years since this game was released, so I don't think R2 is going to be making our Blinks free at the moment. Actually, I think R2 just turned into R split, split out or something and turned into R set. I did send an email to them saying we're going to make a Blinks free, but so far I got no replies. Now don't get excited, I doubt, really, really doubt it's gonna happen. So, unfortunately, we'll have no Blinks free unless someone can buy the whites from our set. But 
up and now. These two games are the only Blinks related what ups that we know of. I didn't see where it's really where plushy, but but another Blinks free. Blinks is talking about something important in Destiny Wounds. I didn't honestly didn't honestly bother to read it. Hi Kronon, on. I'm not gonna see you for a while again. And yet another motorbike has passed by. Now it's always in the time as we said. But it doesn't matter. We, we shall go back to the goal gate and finish up World 2. Well the first half of World 2, the other is called the Tonto Games Park, but of course we'll get into that. So blah blah, we get more of our money. We almost got all the cat medals in the second world, but unfortunately, but unfortunately, the sixth one can only be get through two players. Uh, loads of cars just passing by me now. We should close the windows. But hey, we got we now got enough cat medals to unlock a video of sketches and art pieces that the. The, the, the develop, development team has gone through. So, here's a gifting. Here's some sketches from World 2. I doubt you can see them very clearly. But again, these are not interesting, and this actually goes on for quite a while anyway, so. Yeah. Uh, spoilers, but. This is world five or something. Oh look, there's a bunch of gears. Oh, what that could be? Fine. There could be another world I had face. Who knows? But for now, we got these interesting sketches that. But to be honest, no one's gonna give a damn about. But hey, this is how Blinks was named. A bunch of sketches. I think with how low was it? Taking sketches through that these levels did have some thought into them, but. You know. And that's the only art collection. Thank God. I don't know why I say thank God. So, more cat medals. Some gold ones, some silver ones, some green ones, some red ones. And that's it. So, cutscene! This is the operator, calling all teams. We've received two big crystal fragments so far. Now we can enter a new world using the energy from the big crystal fragments. However, overall time energy is still running out. Destruction of all worlds is imminent! Yes we get, the universe is at stake. But we don't care, we're gonna see what the Tondo games are doing. What do you guys say? Please, Benito, gather the big crystal fragments. What's the matter, Mina? Why are you so sad? Oh, I see. Someone is mistreating you. You need the big crystal to defeat them? Hang in there, Mina. Mina! Who's he even talking about? Boss, wake up! There's an emergency dispatch from Mateo! Boss, we screwed up. The Time Sweepers nailed us with a pause control, and, uh, they took our big crystal fragment. You moron! I need the crystal to help Mina! Can't you do something about the Sweepers' time controls? My granddad used to tell me stories about a time control neutralizer. It's supposed to be sealed in the Cat God statue in the Destiny Ruins. That's it! Get moving! If you screw this up, you will get no dinner ever again! Nah, yeah, I don't care. So yes, now we're back at the time zone games again. We should be all be familiar with this mechanic by now. But yes, now we're gonna steal a time control neutralizer, which pretty much gets rid of the time control that you are in effect under. You know, if you're stuck in place, you can lose that neutralizer to get rid of yourself. But I'll talk about that later, because 
Now we, just, we are talking to people. Someone could say, let me join your team. Some people say, oh look, no new service in the shop. Oh uh, look, more motorbikes are coming through. And this guy won't let us pass through because we need to take a wank exam at Carlos shop again, much like the Times Reapers. Yes, we're gonna do this every single time we beat a world. So, for the time being, let's look at the shop again. We've got more space controls, which are not really pointless, really, because we find them in levels anyway. I think I'll buy some, some small meat, because you know, it's going be handy. You know, I need to kill myself, definitely. We've got chocolates, and a silencer that costs a lot, and a clothes, and a hot pot. Room, but no, we want to see what else there is. Let me go if we can talk to him. We need to know pig mails we can unlock. But we will be getting more pig mails in the next episode, of course. So now let's take the, the second rank Sam. I don't care. And we finally get that pick 38 that I really want. You know, the weapon that we can actually defend ourselves. So now this. He's now he's just introducing us to new space controls. Where'd he go? This is the hyper cloak and I was too late in using it, he knows me like immediately. But yeah. You press the X button and you pretty much become invincible. However, you once you're new, you will get some sort of blue sparkly all around you and Nothing here. Where'd you sort of become seeable as you can see there. I don't know how to explain it, but it looks sort of crystally. Next up is the boy trap, which we seen you, we knew. Well, I explained this space control before. We throw a time sweeper and a, U a UFO. I can't say you know what sucks, sucks it up. Was it UFO or was it a space portal? I have no idea. But sure taking, sure it's taking quite a quite long while to throw it. Come on, throw it. There we go. I oh know, yeah, space will just appears on under feet and sucks them up. Lame. But useful. And now it's gonna explain us how to combine many treasures. Basically there'll be many many well times there'll be a few no, there'll be a few times where you meet up with a bunch of treasures huh? and you can we carry them all at the same time. Well, we got combined and all, so in like one big treasure bag, which doesn't affect your sp speed whatsoever for some reason. And you carry just like an old treasure bag and simples. And yes, it's gonna be real boy for sure. Yeah, I don't know what that even means. So yeah, just like the second time through the tutorial, very quick. They, they give us a brand new weapon gun that we can actually properly use. And I'm just showing you the new irons you can unlock here. I'll probably unlock these I'll I'll unlock these off camera because it's definitely that challenges that I'm gonna do anyway in a challenge mode. Challenge call off to challenge Jimmy. And uh he's pretty good but again not gonna take the risk. Now they are also saying another gun called a ton 16A which is quite effective too, so I think I'll buy that as well. Here it is, I'll just buy one for myself, I can buy three, three more for my team because they don't come with me, they don't do a damn thing, and sure, I think I'll come to the lockers this time. Which will take you immediately straight to the lockers room. And... Yes, I'll eat up some meat to heal myself. Makes sense. And apparently I don't care in saving the world. Wow. Why am I like, such a boring ass person? But anyways, we're we're away a slingshot is now we'll place we'll pick her the eight, so and we'll uh, equip a ton sixty eight with with us too. God. 
Well, we now got some brand new weapons. Some that are actually useful. We can actually kill people apart from putting them to sleep now, so. So yeah, this is the end of the episode. I'm just walking about again. We're gonna do the second world. Yes, we all got pick her yet, you idiot. Can you see on my back? Ugh. Well, in in episode, in next episode, we'll start world two of the Tonton Games part, and I'll see you there. So I'll see you later, guys.